Hey everyone, it's Julie. So I am gonna go over my new program, Just Strength Overload. So if you are considering joining this program, I just wanna give you a little more information so that you know what it is about. So this new program is primarily focused on building lean muscle mass, muscular endurance, mobility, agility, flexibility, and core strength. So throughout this program, we are gonna be working on really building lean muscle mass by going heavy. We're gonna pick up heavier weights. We're gonna work for reps. Sometimes our reps will be anywhere between six to eight and then up to 12 to 15 reps. We will also be working in sets. And so what we will do is most of the time supersets, sometimes triple sets, is we will have rest periods of about 60 to 90 seconds so that your muscles have time to recover before we go into another round and ask them to keep lifting. And this will just help you to be able to go heavier. There really will not be any time under tension for the most part. This will be with longer rest periods so that we can go heavier. All the workouts are 40 minutes and under, and it is five days a week of strength training, plus some additional add-ons that you can add if you would like a sixth day. So there will be some cardio in there that you can throw in on day six. I will have some short core workouts that you can add on on your day six or onto a strength day, and a few little quick cardio ones that could be added onto a strength day if you want. So you will have some additional options so that you can build your own program if you would like to work out more than five days. However, you don't have to do five days if you don't want. If three days is what fits into your schedule, that's fine, you can choose three days. You will get a schedule each week of the workouts with a clickable link and that will take you to a private YouTube page where you'll access the videos. Now, this was a great question that was asked is, if it is done through a link, can you still watch it on your TV? And the answer is yes, you can. So as far as I know, the best way to do it is to click on that link through your email and it will take you to the workout. Like that workout, so click the like button. Then when you access it through your TV, if you go to your subscriptions or like a little box on the side, and you go all the way down, it'll take you to any video you have liked and then it should pull up and you can watch it on your TV. You can also pull it up through your, your computer and have your computer um, hooked into your TV and that way it'll come onto the screen that way also and you could do the same thing with your phone. So you will be able to watch it on a big screen but it will be only accessed through that private link. You will also get a link to a private Facebook group if you want to join that. It is not necessary if you don't want to be on Facebook and that's not your thing, that's totally okay. It is just an additional bonus for those of you who want that community, want to be able to encourage each other, talk to each other about how you're doing in the workouts, ask questions, and just develop community. But it is not necessary and it will not take away from the program if you choose not to join that. You will also have a printout that you can do that you can track your progress. So you can print one out each week, you can put the weight, add notes. So if you wanna add at which rep you hit fatigue or you, know, you went heavier, any notes that you wanna to do to track your progress, you'll have that that you can print out each week. Each week you will also get an email. In addition to the links to all the videos for the week, you'll get the crib sheets. And crib sheets are just a printout of the workouts we're gonna do. So every workout that is in video format is also in written format. So if there's a day where you wanna go to the gym so you can use heavier weights, you can take that crib sheet with you and you know the exact exercises we're doing, how many sets we're doing, how many reps we're doing, and then you can do that anywhere that you're working out. You can also use that just to know what workouts are coming up so that when you're planning, you can say, oh, this is a back and bicep day. These are the exercises we're doing. That gives me an idea of what weights I wanna use. There will also be a place on that crib sheet that you can write in the weight you used so that you can monitor your progress from week to week. So hopefully this will be a program where you develop more strength, you feel more confident, you see more muscle definition, and you just feel overall better. The stronger we get, the more we can alleviate those aches and pains and feel more active in our daily life. Now, let's go over a few of the things that we're gonna use in this program. The number one thing is your weights. So I recommend a variety of weights, anywhere from a light pair up to as heavy as you can do for six to eight reps, 10 to 12 reps, 12 to 15 reps. If you do not have weights that go heavy enough to challenge you, there is always other ways to do that too. You can slow down the tempo, you can increase the reps, but we are gonna be working in some lower rep ranges so that you have the ability to go heavy. Also, we are gonna be using a resistance band at least once a week, and I will show you what I mostly use, which is a fabric woven band. 
These bands stay in place so much better <laughs> than the latex bands. This one is by Hope Fitness Gear, but I've also found great ones on Amazon. I've seen them at Marshalls. They have them at Target. They are a great investment. They're usually pretty inexpensive and will come in a three pack most of the time with a light, medium, and heavy resistance. So highly recommend this because we will use these a lot. However, you can also use body weight and forego the band if you want. There will be modification windows that pop up in the lower body workouts if you do not like to squat and lunge. And for some of those, there is a latex band that I use around the feet to make that exercise more challenging. So I like having fabric bands and latex bands just for the variety because they can be used in different ways. However, this can go around the feet too and just be really, really challenging. <laughs> you will also need a bench if you have one. So you can see my bench back there. I love the bench. I think it is a great tool to have in your home gym. If you don't have one, you can still do chest work on the floor or core work on the floor, but I do use the bench a lot. Um, and once again, bench is from Amazon. <laughs> I'm a huge Amazon customer, if you didn't know that. I will also use my plyo box. As you see back there, I have two sizes. I'm just gonna use the smaller one that's on top. And that plyo box is a 16, 14, and 12 inch box. Got it on Amazon, absolutely love it. I use it all the time. However, if you don't have one and you're not ready to invest in one, you can use a bench, you can use an aerobic step, you can use a chair. So you will have options for that, but I do highly recommend them, they're amazing. We will use the kettlebell once, so if you have a kettlebell, great. If you don't have one, don't worry, that is optional because a single weight will also work, and of course I would show you how you can modify just using one weight. I will also use the stability ball. I love the stability ball. I think they are great to have in your home gym and they're very inexpensive. I ordered mine on Amazon, shocking, right? Very shocking, but they sell them everywhere and they just are so much fun to use. We'll use them for some core work. However, if you don't have one and you're not interested in getting one right now, you can also just use the floor. So we won't use them a ton, but we will use them a little bit. I will also use a yoga block and that one will come up quite often for lifting the heels. So if you don't have one, you can also stand on your weights or you can stand on a small stack of books or anything that can elevate your heels. But I will say yoga blocks are a great thing to have. They're very inexpensive. I got mine at Marshall's in a two pack, I think for like $6. So they're really inexpensive. I'm sure Amazon has them also. Target has them, like Walmart has them, everybody has them. So those are some of the main things that we're gonna use, but our focus is really gonna be on the weights. We are really gonna be working to build lean muscle mass. And building lean muscle mass is what's gonna reshape your body. So in order to lose body fat, that's gonna happen through your nutrition. But to actually add shape to your body, that happens through strength training. It's also really important because as we grow older and our bones become a little weaker and we lose muscle mass, adding new muscle mass is really helpful for keeping our bones strong and preventing that muscle loss, which we really need to have as we age to keep our body strong and prevent injuries and things like that. So this is a really great thing to add to your daily life. So in addition to all the stuff that I've already talked about, we're going to be chatting it up each week in the emails. So I will send out that weekly email, give you a little rundown of what's going on for the week. You can email me back and we can chat and you can let me know any concerns you have, any questions you have. What I want from this is for you to feel strong and empowered by the end. I want you to feel like you are capable of so much and that you're strong and that everyday life is easier because you've become stronger. So if you have questions, or anything like that, message me. You can email me, message me on Instagram, message me on Facebook, wherever you find me, send me a message and I will respond. So the program starts very soon, July 3rd, but you can join at any time. So if you're not ready to decide, you can jump in at any time and start at day one. All the videos will be labeled day one, day two, day three, so that you know where to start. You will also get access to Just Strength, so you can start there. If you haven't done that program yet, or if you wanna go back and do that program again, you can always do that. That will also be in a private link that will be sent to you. That one will also come with a calendar that has clickable links on it, so you can click on it and it'll take you straight there. Like I said, you can also like on that and then go back and watch it through YouTube on your TV. So I hope I've covered everything. If there's anything I've left out that you have questions about, feel free to message me, but I'm really excited that you guys are interested in joining me and I hope this just gives you an overview of what we're getting ready to do. Um, you know, I'm gonna try to keep those workouts very manageable, 40 minutes and under. Some of them are really short, some of them, especially when we get to leg day, hit that 40 minute mark. 
Um, and sometimes it's just because I'm talking. <laughs> you could just decide to turn me off at the end. I always like to give tips that are running through my head and things that I think that will add to your life. Um, but sometimes, uh, sometimes I talk too much. So feel free to turn me off if you're like, okay, cool down's done and she's still talking and I've got things to do. That's totally okay, I completely understand. Uh, but I'm excited to do this journey with you. And what I wanna say is we all have different physical limitations and I don't know everybody's limitation. And so these workouts are built in a general population mindset. So trying to hit what most people can do. If you have different limitations that keep you from doing some of the exercises, I totally understand, modify as needed, but also know that if there are certain things that you are looking for in a program that you need specifically catered to you, that's where a personal trainer comes in. And that's what I would do if I were working with somebody one-on-one. -on -one. This is trying to hit a large group of people so that we can do this together for a reasonable price without paying for gym membership and a personal trainer and all those things. But I can't hit every specific need, so this is a little more general. I do give modifications to exercises that are usually the most common ones to cause problems. But if at any time an exercise doesn't work for you, then please feel free to modify that, do a different exercise, reduce the weights that you're using. You know your body best, so you need to listen to your body. Yes, okay. So thank you for joining me for this little overview. Let me know if you have any questions and I look forward to starting this program with you. Bye.